Welcome back to the third lesson of Sura Mini. Uh, today we're going to be learning about uh, blocks, functions, um, and how to create them using the Sura Mini. Um, yeah, as I'm speaking, if anyone has any questions, uh, feel free to just raise your hand using the Zoom function. Uh, so today we are going to talk about functions. So does anyone know what functions are? You can put your hand up. Ryder, do you know? Do you know? Do you want to? Um, do you want to explain to the class? It means that if you, uh, I know what it means, but I don't know how to explain it. I know what it means, but I don't know how to explain it. That's okay. As long as you um, know what it means, that's good. So uh, what a function is, is um, it's a series of actions. Um, and you'll hear this word a lot when you're programming. Um, so for example, I could create a function called understood. And to perform that function, I'll have to do the action of nodding, just like this, and then putting my thumbs up. So can everyone try perform the understood function? Nodding, yep, yeah, and then thumbs up, perfect writer. Ayan, do you have a question? Uh, try unmuting yourself, Ayan. Ayan, can you unmute? We try to uh, unmute you. We already asked you to unmute. Can you click the unmute? I can type in chat, Ayan, if it's not uh, if it's not working for you. Do you want to type your question in chat then? Oh, it worked now. Um, you're unmuted. Um, yeah. Um, your voice is cracking. Yeah, I think there's something um, wrong with your internet. Hello? Maybe your connection? Hello? Yeah, your voice is cracking. No, I think your connection is not very good. Uh, yeah, maybe your we move on. Cracking. Maybe we move on. Your voice was cracking. So... Okay, yeah. I'm on my laptop and I'm near the signal areas. So just move on. Um, try uh, having a look at your internet, Ayan. Um, there might be a problem there. So um, where were we? So yeah, I hope uh, everyone understands uh, what a function is. So it's basically basically a a set of actions. Um, so can everyone put their thumbs up if they understood? Right, uh, hi, Miriam. So now we're going to uh, create a function using the Sphero. So if we go to our app, can everyone show me the Spheros? Perfect. So now if we connect our spheros, uh, just like we did last week, going to the app, I'll uh, share my screen to show you how to do it.
One moment. All right, can everyone see? So just like we did last week, we're gonna to go to the Sphero Edu app. We're going to connect our robot. So again, uh, click the click the uh, steering wheel on the far right, on the bottom. Click that. And then it will search for available robots. And then you want to make sure that your Bluetooth and your location are turned on. And then it should pop up here. We click that. And then it's connected. And then uh, make sure to aim. Uh, so the aim button near the bottom. Click the aim button. And then we aim our robot so the light is pointing towards us. Great. So now we've connected our robot and we aimed our robot. We go to the programs button, which is on the bottom, it's in the middle. Just like we did last week for the draw. We go programs. We click create a program, the big plus button. We enter a program name. We can just call this one blocks or block. The program type, we will choose blocks. And then for the compatible robots, we'll choose Sphero Mini. So does everyone have that? Uh, put your hand up if that's working for you. Awesome, so Ryder got it working. Miriam, does that work for you? Just put a thumbs up. Great work. Ian, Thomas, how are you going? Great work, so everyone's got this screen here and then we click create. So it'll, once you click create, it'll bring you to this screen. Um, similar to what we had last week, it, the top bar is the same. So it has our back, our start, our aim, and our settings. Um, on the middle of the screen, we can see a block that says on start program. So that block is basically an action, just like nodding, just like a thumbs up that we did before. So that action, um, when we start the program, that's the first action that will be caught, that will be uh, done by the robot. So if we look at the bottom here, we can see that there's a lot of categories of different actions. So the first category here is movements. And movements, we can swipe and see all the different blocks. And all of these blocks, they represent one action. So the first block, we can see if we click and drag it onto the start program, and we have to make sure that it connects just like this. Uh, and what this first block says, it says roll, and it has a zero with the degrees in it. So if we click that zero, we can uh, we can pick what degrees we want our robot to roll in. So if we choose zero degrees, it will be straight ahead. Uh, 90 degrees will be to your right. 180 will be to the down towards you. And 270 will be to your left. Ryder, do you have a question? I'm stuck. Mama. 
That's okay. So what part are you up to? Have you created your program? So if you, are you in your program at the moment? Yeah, yeah, I'm in my program now. Right. Ah, oh, great job. <clears throat> so we can choose uh, what direction we want uh, the robot to roll in. And I'll just choose 90 degrees. We can pick, press the tick. And then the next number is zero. So roll 90 degrees at, and we click the zero. And this will, uh, we can choose the speed of how fast we want the robot to roll. So if you want it to roll really fast, you go all the way to 255. If you want it to roll really slow, we can do 10. And I'll go about in the middle, 140. 140. Ayan, do you have a question? Um, yeah, can you do everything again? Because uh, my internet connection, the internet connection was not working, uh, was lost. So can you just explain everything again? Because I didn't get anything. Yeah, yeah sure. So I think uh, Adele just joined as well. So I'll just explain it to both of you. Um, Adele, do you have your Sphero with you? Show him the Sphero. Yeah, you connected. Great. With us. So if you uh, if you get your phone and you connect it to the Sphero Edge app, just like we did last week. <laughs> So go to the Sphere Edge app, uh, connect your robot um, using the, the driving wheel icon on the bottom. And then after it's connected, go to programs. Yep. And then click create program, the big plus button. Yep. Type a program name. So you, could, you can just name it blocks. Then the, for the programming type, choose blocks. Then for the compatible robots, it should be on Sphero Mini. Then click Create. Once that's all done, you should, there should be a screen like this. So does anyone have that screen? Yep, Adele, you have it. Ayan, do you have, are you on this screen? Yeah, I'm on. What do I do now? I'm on. Okay, great. So we'll just explain this now. Okay, so um, if you drag the first block in the movements um, and drag it onto the start program and make sure it connects just like this. And what this block is, it's an action for uh, us to tell the Sphero to do something. And in this case, it will be telling the Sphero to roll in a direction at a certain speed and for how long. So the first, first number is the direction, second number is the speed, and the third number is the uh, duration. So how long we want the Sphero to roll for. Um, and I will put it to two seconds. So now that's done. We can click start, big green start button, and then our Sphero will roll. And it'll roll uh, to, my, to my right, and it'll roll at 140 uh, speed and for two seconds. So give me a thumbs up if you got that working.
Good job. Uh, Ryder, do you have a question? I pressed start, but my hero didn't move. Okay, so is the role connected to the um, the on start program block? No. So, no. Uh, so try clicking and dragging, and then make sure they're connected together. Okay. Yep, and then just press start now. Okay. And does that work? Yep. Great job. <clears throat> So we have these um, we have these blocks here for the different actions on the bottom, um, and all these blue bo blocks are related to the movements. So we have stop. So if we click and drag stop and connect it, after the sphero rolls, it will stop. If we have speed, we can click and drag speed, and what speed does it sets the speed and we can change it to uh, a faster speed. And we can connect that. We can do heading. Rado, do you have a question? No, that was from the last question, it's still there. Okay, no worries. Ayan, do you have a question? Um, um, where is start and program? Sorry, where's, where's start program? Yeah, it's, where is it? The I'll big, it. Uh, big uh, green button. No, like the, is that when you, you're dragging your coding, your code, it says on start program. So on start where, program. yeah. Um, if you zoom out, can you, uh, so pinch your screen? I found it. And what do we do now? So um, you just drag, just drag a block onto and uh, onto the on start program block, and make sure they're connected. And we'll just go I'm through just the different blocks now. Two forty three. Okay, so we have a lot of different blocks here. So the speed one, we just went through the change the speed of the Sphero. Uh, the heading, we will change the direction. We have spin, which will uh, make the uh, Sphero spin in a direction for a set amount of time. We have raw motor left um, and right, which basically the Sphero has two wheels on it. And we can select one wheel to go faster and one wheel to go slower or the other way around. And then we have reset aim. Oops. Reset aim, which is uh, similar to the aiming that we've done before. Next category is lights. So all these light actions, we can click and drag it. We'll click and drag main LED. And then if we click the color here, we can change what color the sphero will be. So I'll just change it to to orange and then we can also change uh, how light it is so everything in this light category will change the color of your sphero and we can the next one is fade from so fade from will basically change your sphero from one color to another color and then we have strobe which will pretty much keep lighting up your sphero. We have back LED. The back LED is uh, basically the basically the little dot that you use for aiming. And then the next category we have is sounds. So for the sounds, if we drag uh, play the first one, so play random sound, we can. Uh, we can pick what sound we want the sphero to play. So if everyone could drag that and then press random, 
and then we can select from a list of different sounds. And you can go through them. So if you if you click on the sound, it will make the sound, it will uh, show you what the sound is. So that's cat. We have cow, duck. So there's a lot of different sounds you can choose from. For now, we will select penguin. And then next one we have is speak. So if we tap the box here for speak, we can type in a word for the sphero to, to say out loud. And we can do hello. All right, so those are the main actions for the three categories of movements, lights, and sounds. And we do have some other ones, but we'll cover those in our future lessons. So if I press start on this program, the sphero should roll at 90 degrees for two seconds. Then it should change to orange color. Then it should play a penguin sound. And then it should say hello. Uh, sorry, Simon, uh, can I interrupt? Uh, Ryder, I have a question. Yep, Ryder, sure. can you unmute? No, it was still from the last one. It's still there. Okay, I took, all right, thank you. Okay, let's move on. Okay, so if I press start, it should do all those things. So can everyone press start and then see what your robot does? Put your thumbs up if that worked for you. Great job. So there's a lot of cool, cool things we can do with this. Um, and since if we keep adding a lot of blocks onto this uh, on start, it can get, uh, it can become a really long list of blocks. And we don't really want that because um, there's not enough room here. So a solution to that is we create a function. So if everyone could scroll to the very end and then functions, click functions in the green and then click create a function. And then we can name the function Uh, we can name the function fun and then press the tick button. Now, like we said before, functions are a set of actions. So we have our set of actions over here under start program. If we click and drag, from the, the, the start of the actions. So if we drag it off and then we put it onto, drag it onto the fun function, our fun function now has a set of actions that it will do when we, when we run the fun function. And to run the fun function, if we scroll a bit more to, towards the left, we'll see our little fun function here in a block. And if we click and drag that block and connect it to the on start program. Now, when, our, when we press start, our program, our Sphero will run the fun function, which is what we had before, all the actions. So does everyone understand that? Put your thumbs up. Awesome. So now let's create some functions. Since we have an idea of the basic blocks from movements, light, and sounds. Um, from last week, we, we uh, had an object and we uh, drove around the object. 
Now let's try finding uh, an object as well. And then we'll create a function to go around the object. So can everyone have a look in your room, um, see if there's any objects. <clears throat> I'm gonna use the Sphero case. Um, yeah, you can use the Sphero case. You can use the uh, little pinballs that come um, with the Sphero case. But if I set these zero cases down on a flat surface, and then I want everyone to try create a function to roll around from where you are, roll around the object, and then back to you, and see how you go with that. When that works for you, put your thumbs up. If you need any help, um, please raise your hand. Yes, Ryder? I cannot create any functions. You can't create any functions. So have you gone to the green, uh, green category here that says functions? Yeah. Yep, well, and then press okay. create function. Yeah. And then you'll come in this screen and then you can type your function name. Now uh, you can call it anything, we'll just call this uh, coding. And then after this screen, you'll press the tick on the top left, the blue tick. Okay. Does that work for you? Yep. You got it? Awesome. And then for your function to work, you will just do what we've done here is drag the actions so that it connects to the function. And then we will drag the function block and then make it connect to the on start program. Okay. Just like this. Perfect. Okay. So now try make a function to go around your object.
please feel free to raise your hand if you need any help. Um, and put your thumbs up once you finish. We'll see who can finish first. Ayan, do you want us to work, Ayan? Oh, you want good, okay. Yeah, I think that was from before. Okay. Adele, did you get it working? Awesome. So how did Ian, you do it, Adele? Uh, Ian say it's not working. You might uh, share, turn on the um, the camera so that we can see which the phone, your programs. The camera is not working. Uh, it's a bit hard when you don't have camera. Ah, okay, okay, all good. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, if you need any help, um, yeah, just type in chat and then we can help you. So once everyone's done that, they've created a function to go around your object. You can try adding some colors so that it changes the color when it goes around the object. And you can try playing around with some of the sounds as well. So you can change the different sounds. So when it goes around, you can also uh, get two objects and then try going around both of the objects. So let's see if you can upgrade your function to go around two objects and then light up a different color and play a sound. See how you go with that. And if you need any help, just raise your hand. Ryder, do you have a question? 
do we have to do the right program? Sorry? Wait. Could you repeat Wait. that? Wait. Which programs do you have to use? Which programs? So I'll show you my screen. Do you mean uh, which blocks? Yeah. Yeah. So if you have your, your object with you, you want to use the movements, movements block. So this block here. And what this block does, you can set how you want your sphere to move. So the first zero here with the degrees, you click that. And then you can set which direction you want your sphero to move in. And so if you have your object in front of you, you would want your sphero to move in front of you. So you can set that to zero. We can set the speed, which is the next number. And the speed, it's, uh, it's really up to you. Um, depends how far your sphero is from you. Uh, if it's not too far, you can set it about middle speed into 159. And then we the last number is the time. So how long you want your Sphero to drive for. Um, and that is also depends on how far the object is from you. But if it's not too far, you can play around with it and then bye, see bye. how you go. Oh, try 10 seconds. Try 10 seconds. <clears throat> Ayan, do you have a question? I was just asking, uh, like, if you can listen to mine, it's a really funny one. Because it says, who let the dogs out? No, four, 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 four. <laughs> nice job. If you see, I do it, and it's a, and then it makes the sound of a wolf, and it goes like that. <laughs> ah, that, that's what's funny. Good work. So you use the sounds to play a wolf sound, and then the speech as well. Good yeah. Job.
So how's everyone going with that? Has anyone managed to finish? Put your thumbs up if you finished. Ian's finished, good job. Ayan's finished. Adele's finished, great work. Writer's finished, awesome. Does anyone want to show us how they got it working? Ryder? Well, uh, I got it around the cane and then around the chair and then I went and then I made it go around in a circle back to me. Nice, good job. And how did you do that? How many roll fun roll actions did you use? Hmm. Uh, I had to use about like five. Five. Nice work. So now that everyone's everyone's done with that, let's see who can create the coolest function. And then in a few minutes time, try creating a cool function and then we can show it off to the class.
So how did everyone go? Did anyone create a cool function? Put your thumbs up. Awesome. Does anyone want to show their function? Writer? My function was fun to play with. Hey, I want you to show awesome. What does your function do? Well, my, well I, I tried to use all my functions that I did, but none of them actually worked. Not even this one. Sorry, none, um, of, none of them worked, was it? Yeah, none. none. So what is your when you press start? What does your robot, your sphere do? It just it just stays there. Oh, it just stays there. Yeah. So have you connected it to your on start program block? Yep. Yep. Um, just like this, I'll show you on my screen. So does it look something like this? So your functions are connected to your block, your on start program block, just like that. Yep. And then when you press start, it does it work? Yep. Okay, awesome. Miriam, do you have a question? My function, my function, um, makes my robot move. It makes my robot play um, this kind of sound. Wow, that's pretty cool. And then it makes my sphere roll around my um, object. Ah, oh, very nice. What what sound is that? It's called spaceship float. Spaceship float. That's pretty cool. Great work. Anyone else have a function that they want to show us? Put your hands up if you want to show show the class your function. Okay, so if everyone's done with that, I hope everyone knows a little bit more about what a function is and what it does. Um, and does anyone have any questions? Just use the raise hand function if you have any questions. Ryder, do you have a question? Do we have to download another app or do we have to do the last thing on Edu? Um, so it would just be on the Edu app. Um, there's a lot more things we can do on the Edu app. So yeah, there's, we're still gonna be using this app here. Um, yeah, there's a lot of things that we're gonna cover in the next few lessons as well, a lot of fun things. Um, so you just have to 
come back next week and find out. Okay. So next week we'll be looking at the other category, other categories. So we'll be looking at the comparators, some of these here, and as well as some of the controls. So these are more complex things, um, more complex actions that we can use, but we'll go into more detail uh, next lesson. So I hope everyone had fun. I think it's about time, just yep. about. Yeah, I think it's about time. Um, thank you, everyone. I hope you really have fun with your Spiro. I'm going to unmute everyone to say goodbye to Raymond. Goodbye. Bye, Mr. Raymond. Bye, Bye everyone. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye.